thank you for joining us for the second annual Global Summit, Global Kidney Innovation, Expanding Patient Choices and Outcomes, a collaborative partnership event presented by the American Association of Kidney Patients and the George Washington University School of Medicine and Health Sciences. I am Katina Lang Lindsay, and I am an assistant professor of social work at Alabama A&M University in Huntsville, Alabama. I managed, I have managed kidney disease for over 17 years as an in-center dialysis patient and currently a transplant recipient. I am honored to serve AAKP as an ambassador for the state of Alabama. Being an ambassador of AAKP has allowed me to get involved in multiple projects related to patient research and outcomes. I really enjoy being connected to patient engagement opportunities, whether through policy support or even serving on committees. Indeed, it has been a real pleasure. Today, I am pleased to introduce Dr. Peter Ma, Chairman and CEO of CareDX Incorporated, who will present on emerging innovations in kidney disease and global implications, artificial intelligence in transplant care. Hello, my name is Peter Mark. I'm the chairman and CEO here at CareDX. I'm so excited to talk to you about artificial intelligence in transplant care. Thank you so much, AAKP and GW University for hosting this great event. And a special thank you to AAKP leadership, um, Ed Hickey, Richard Knight, and Paul Conway. I consider them like friends as we're building a tremendous transplant village. We at CareDX focus on transplantation. Transplantation is all what we do. We focus on building the transplant ecosystem. Transplantation is really everything that we do. We come to work every day to focus on transplant patients as you can see here by the leadership team of CareDX. Before we start talking about artificial intelligence, let's focus and imagine. Imagine a world where computers work for doctors, not doctors for computers. Imagine a world where doctors have access to all transplant data in the world. And imagine where doctors personalize approaches based on patients' histories and trajectories. And then imagine a world where patients are actively engaged in their transplant patient journey. We at CareDX trying to imagine that with you, the transplant village. How do we do that? CareDX offers a number of products and services along the patient continuum. We help patients to manage on their wait list. We help to find our matching of organ and recipients. And then we also focus on after transplantation on surveillance of these patients throughout the lifetime with our liquid biopsy tool, Allosure, and our augmented intelligence offerings, iBox, which is a very new innovation in the CareDX portfolio. We also, together with 60 transplant centers, are managing their electronic medical records. And we have in many transplant centers a very strong focus on their quality management. So quality is incredibly important in transplantation. Well, CareDX is deeply ingrained in the US transplant centers and also are starting to have a very strong presence internationally. We already manage more than 25,000 transplant patients and are working with 180 transplant centers in the United States already. We focus on kidney, but also have presence in the heart transplant in other, or in, in other solid organs. So CareDX is really a focused transplantation company. We have defined our pathway to artificial intelligence by starting with a focused approach to precision medicine. With our genomic biomarkers or our diagnostic tools like Allomap or Allosure or Allocell or Alloseq, we have a rich portfolio of diagnostic tests. Now, when we combine these various tests in a transplant care concept where we have multiple data points together, we were talking about multimodality testing. So, one clinician doesn't only look at one test, he's looking at multiple tests to really inform about the health of the organ or the health of the patient. But then when we have this strong data component together and match this with all the data that's available, you need a tool that allows you to really discern better decisions going forward. And this is our eye track approach, where we focus on comprehensive data management, actionable care 
pathway data, and also looking for how we can integrate this into the existing electronic medical records. So that's our approach to artificial intelligence in transplant care. There are many opportunities to engage in these discontinuities along the patient journey. And many of you will have experienced the discontinuity of care along the move from a dialysis center into a transplant center. And then once you move from a transplant center back into the community nephrology setting, there are a lot of discontinuities. There's a lot of lack of information. There's a lot of inability to manage that information. And sometimes this information is very siloed. So a lot of people see this as a challenge. We see this as a tremendous opportunity because this is where we at CareDX can add tremendous value as focusing on the longitudinal patient journey and making sure that these discontinu discontinuities are addressed. Transplantation is really a great example for these very, very complex communication ecosystems uh, where there's a lot of lack of information and coordination as these communication lines are incredibly complex. Now, poor communication may lead to delays in diagnosis and treatment. It might contribute to adverse medication interactions, and it might also be a tremendous frustration to your transplant care coordinator and your clinicians because the information is not available when it needs to be there. Uh, it also increases cost for payers, and many, many times it results in a really poor patient experience. Many of you will have been sitting in a waiting room waiting for information or one more chart floating, flowing from one other, other part of the hospital or of another care provider because that information was not, not there at the time of decision making. Now, this is again an opportunity because if we improve the communication flow, there will be significant improvement of patient outcomes going forward. Well, we at CareDX have now the approach of having very strong surveillance tool, which you see here on the left-hand side, pairing that with stronger engagement on the patient side, that then that will lead to better patient outcomes, which you see here in the middle. Now, with our digital suite for transplant patient solutions, we focus initially on the patient. With AlloCare, we have a patient support solution that really engages and draws in the patient and makes them access their health information. What you see with the AlloCare app that we are developing, and we're looking very much forward to a September 26, 2020 launch of this at the AlloCare Transplant Festival, we focus on this AlloCare app to make sure that patients remember their appointments, track and monitor, monitor their medication adherence, and measure their health activities, and maybe engage and build the transplant community broader. So look out for the AlloShore patient app. But we not only focus on the patient, we also focus on the care providers, the hospitals. With our other care provider-based solution, we have an electronic medical records that allow us to integrate all this information. And here you see our focus on iTrack, which you see here on the left-hand side, which is a clinical decision support tool that we're currently developing at CareDX. This is brand new. This is a, a view into the future of modern medicine. This iTrack solution will do three things. It will help to give the clinician insights into the change of prognosis for the patient. It will then maybe provide care recommendation for the clinician. What are all the considerations to think about when you have this patient in front of you? And it will also provide the clinician with potentially medica medication recommendations. So it'll be a very comprehensive tool that we're building over a very long period of time. This is not here yet now, but we are building it for the future. With the delivery of iTrack, we're not only focusing on decision maker support, but also on improving the workflow. For example, in a hospital, many of these hospitals are asking themselves as they organize their transplant activities, which patients can be seen by telehealth? Which patients need a change in medication? Which patients uh, needs immediate attention? And maybe which patient needs closer surveillance in the future? Wouldn't it be great to have a tool that allows to aggregate all the best practices of transplant centers around the world and make them available to these transplant centers as they're all trying to improve their workflows going forward? And with the intelligent solutions and intelligent support, we can do that in the future of making sure that not every transplant center needs to recreate the wheel. Now, this is a pretty complex slide, which I'll talk you through, because this is what we call our first dashboard. And you see that it's really only building up. On the top of that dashboard, and think of this dashboard almost like driving in a car. 
uh, where you have many gauges that inform you about the health of your car. Medicine is much more complicated than that, so we need much more than a single light that, tell, that goes on when the engine light goes on. Here, you see many gauges that allow you to get an insight into the transplant care of the patient. And this will be incredibly exciting to develop that co cockpit or this dashboard um, for the future for transplant care, and CareDX is working on that. Now, what you'll see on the bottom um, that next to the allosure results, there's an IBOX score, there's maybe an infection risk, and then there's a reject rejection risk that the clinician will have at its fingertips. How do we get to this? IBOX will be a very important tool that helps him to understand the risk prognosis. And here you see um, risk prognosis with IBOX as an example. Um, the health of the organ being projected for three, five, and seven years. And on the dotted line, you see the baseline of all patients, um, the previous line of the patient, and look at this, it has actually increased. So this is the type of patient where maybe the recommendation is the patient is doing so well, is there something that I'm can doing with this patient in the future that may be backing off on the medication, maybe seeing this patient less frequently, that is an option that the clinician can consider. So the iBox is a validated artificial intelligence tool for transplantation, a validated risk prediction score that predicts allograft health after kidney transplantation. It's incredibly important that this is validated and we have a lot of good publications that are supporting our findings on making these risk prediction scores for kidney transplant patients. And this score starts to become so powerful that we can even match who is actually better? Is it the clinician or the nurse that is predicting the health of the organ over long periods of time? Or is it actually the computer that already gives you a lot of insights? And we have some data that suggests that the IBOX scores is even better in predicting long-term graft survival than we are possibly doing that as human. Which makes a lot of sense because you see that there's so much data, so much information now available on the individual data. It's so incredibly difficult to maybe aggregate that information as a simple human and bringing out a prognosis for graft survival over the long term. So a very promising start, but a very early start. So how do we bring all this together? With kidney care, we not only have a very good diagnostic for graft injury. With Allomap, we also measure the immune activity. But with iBox now, we have a tool that is focused on the graft survival, the long-term graft prognosis. So Putting this all together in a kidney care concept is incredibly exciting, and this is what we're working on at CareDX. But we are so close to reality of making this, what I started out with the Imagine, um, a world where um, we make that now a reality. Here you see Alana, a patient that is with a simple phone call, initiates a home-based blood draw. Then a phlebotomist comes to, their, to her home, is doing the blood draw, the information is fed back, fed back to the transplant center. And now the doctor can choose in a telehealth visit, do you want to come back into the transplant center and have your surveillance visit? Or are you fine to stay out for, for a while and maybe have a surveillance visit and come into the transplant center at a later stage? So this telehealth reality has become a reality already under the COVID-19 impact. But I think it is also the future how we're practicing telemedicine going forward. Not anymore two hours driving to the transplant center, not anymore an hour wait, not anymore many procedures until you finally at the end of the day are going back home. Maybe the home-based solution will alleviate many, many visits in the future, which is one application of great data and great communication that leads ultimately to artificial intelligence in transplant care. Thank you very much for your interest and listening today to the artificial intelligence in transplant care. We are very excited about working with you and others on making sure that in the future, we have better solutions for transplant patients going forward. Thank you so much. We appreciate Dr. Ma for his taking the time to share insight on medical innovations in post-transplant care and how timely research and innovations can improve patient lives and society. Thank you.